Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Donington Park for this electrifying GT3 showdown. Falk Moritz ISPR has snatched pole, but the real drama lies further down the grid. Daniel Bourne, our season's tragic hero, languishes in P12, desperate for a top 10 finish. The paddock is buzzing with rumors of Bourne's alleged backroom deals and questionable tactics. Will he risk it all today? Keep an eye on the notorious Danger Mouse in P8. Word is, he and Bourne have a score to settle. With a field this tight and tensions running high, we're in for a roller coaster ride. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. This isn't just a race, it's a battle for redemption. And we're off. The roar of engines fills the air as Falk Moritz ISPR leads the pack. Daniel Bourne, starting P12, is on the hunt. Oh no! Disaster strikes as Danger Mouse and Chris Osterreicher collide. Bourne's nemesis is out, opening a path to the top 10 for him. Unbelievable! Sabri Onla, 1-4, slips past Bourne, pushing him back to P12. Bourne's top 10 dreams are fading fast. Oh! And Bourne strikes back. He's not letting Arlo 104 get away that easily. The desperation is palpable as Bourne claws his way back to P12. But is this enough to salvage his race and his season? Chaos erupts as Antony Cole Buchanan spins out. Bourne narrowly avoids the carnage, inching closer to his top 10 goal. The racing gods seem to favor him today. Up front, Falk Moritz ISPR reclaims the lead from Jan Anich. But all eyes are on Bourne as he inches closer to that coveted top 10 position. Pedal pounces, Anich drops to third place. As the battle rages on at the front, we're seeing some intense midfield action. Alberto Marino, the dark horse of this race, has just made a stunning move on Borja Juncal to claim fourth position. This shakeup in the order could have significant implications for our protagonist, Daniel Bourne. Hold on to your hats, folks! Daniel Bourne has just made his move, swooping past Antini Cole Buchanan to snatch P11. This puts him tantalizingly close to that coveted top 10 finish. But let's not forget the controversy surrounding Bourne's recent tactics. Uh, incredible! Alberto Marino continues his charge, snatching P3 from Jan Anuch. The paddock is buzzing with speculation about Marino's sudden surge. Some whisper of a secret alliance with Bourne's team, others of cutting-edge tech. Meanwhile, Anuch's race is unraveling. Could this shake-up benefit Bourne's top 10 quest? Could this shake-up? Ladies and gentlemen, the impossible has happened. Daniel Bourne has clawed his way into the top 10, overtaking Isak Reiter in a move that can only be described as pure desperation mixed with sheer brilliance. Ladies and gentlemen, what a race we're witnessing here at Donington Park. The tension is palpable as we look at the current standings. And oh boy, do we have a story to tell. At the front, Falk Moritz ISPR continues to lead the pack, showcasing why he's been a dominant force this season. But let's not forget the real drama unfolding behind him. Zabi Pedal in second is holding steady, but it's Alberto Marino in third who's been turning heads. Marino's meteoric rise from his starting position has left many in the paddock scratching their heads. Is this the result of a brilliant strategy or is there something more, let's say, controversial at play? John Anuch, who started the race so promisingly, has slipped to fourth. We're hearing reports of frustration boiling over in his garage. His race engineer was overheard saying, we need to find out what Marino's got under the hood and fast. But the real story of this race, ladies and gentlemen, is he is the nail-biting saga of Daniel Bourne. See Starting from P12, Bourne has clawed his way into the top 10, currently sitting in P10. It's been a season of struggles for Bourne, and this race could be his redemption arc. However, the path to this position has been anything but smooth. We've just received word that the stewards are still reviewing Bourne's overtake on Isak Reiter. The paddock is buzzing with speculation. Some are calling it a brilliant move, while others are crying foul. 
Bourne's team principal was seen in heated discussion with race officials, gesticulating wildly. Could a penalty be looming? Meanwhile, Danger Mouse, who was involved in that early incident with Chris Oesterreicher, has somehow managed to recover to P9. It's a testament to his tenacity, or perhaps a stroke of luck in the chaos of this race. Speaking of Oesterreicher, he's languishing back in P13. His team, Radio, has been a constant stream of frustration and accusations. Bourne's car isn't legal, he was heard shouting. There's no way he could make up that many positions fairly. The midfield battle is intense. Welcome back to the action, race fans. After that brief intermission, we're diving right back into the heart-pounding drama unfolding here at Donington Park. Falk Moritz ISPR continues to dominate from pole position, but the real story is brewing in his rearview mirror. Sabi Pidal is holding steady in second, while Alberto Marino maintains his shocking third place. The paddock is still abuzz with theories about Marino's unexpected performance, some praising his driving, others muttering about potential rule bending. But let's talk about Daniel Bourne, shall we? He's managed to cling to that coveted P10 spot, despite the controversy surrounding his earlier overtake on Isak Reite. Speaking of Raite, he slipped back to P12, a devastating blow after starting in P11. The most dramatic shift we're seeing is Chris Oesterreicher's climb from P13 to P11. After that early tangle with Danger Mouse, Oesterreicher's been on a mission. His team radio has been crackling with determination. Bourne's in our sights, let's show him what real racing looks like. Meanwhile, Sabri Unlu has plummeted to last place. Word from his garage suggests a potential mechanical issue. Could this be related to his earlier scuffle with Bourne? E As we head into the next phase of this race, one thing's certain. With Bourne desperately defending his top 10 position and Oesterreicher gunning for him, we're in for a nail-biting finish. Stay tuned, folks. This isn't just a race, it's a battle of wills. Marino strikes again. Pedal demoted to third place. Arnoc pounces. Pedal drops to fourth place. Disaster strikes. Marino and Pedal collide in a shocking turn of events. Both drivers spinning out, their podium dreams shattered. This opens the door for Anuc, while Bourne's top 10 position suddenly looks more secure. Unbelievable. Pedal somehow recovers, snatching P3 from Marino. This race is far from over, folks. Bourne must be thanking his lucky stars for this chaos up front. Ladies and gentlemen, the drama at Donington Park continues continues to unfold at a breakneck pace. Just moments after their heart-stopping collision, Zabi Pedal has managed to claw his way back, overtaking Alberto Marino for that coveted P3 spot. It's a testament to Pedal's skill and determination, rising from the ashes of what seemed like certain disaster. Volk Moritz, ISPR crosses the line, a masterclass in racing. Bourne clings to P9, a controversial top 10 finish after a season of struggles. Wow, what a race! The drama at Donington Park had me on the edge of my seat from start to finish. Bourne's controversial climb to P9, the Marino Pedal collision, and Falk Moritz by SPR's dominant win. It was a roller coaster of emotions. I'm still buzzing from the excitement and can't wait to see how this shakes up the championship. Bring on the next race!